What's going on, everybody? This is Mo. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Baby Turtle two-inch frame by Sub 250G FPV. They also have a 40 millimeter and a 45 millimeter version, and you can build it out on 1S or 2S. This one is 2S. It's got a lot of power. It's one of my favorite micros as of late. Um, so we're gonna get into that in a little bit later. I also have a little bit of a, a shortcut if you don't want to piece out the parts individually. You just kind of want to, to to fly this type of craft. I have a little bit of a shortcut, a little bit of a cheat. I always try to throw that in there if you don't like building. So stick around later for that. Um, let's cut to some B-roll for now and go, go over some of the components that I have this one built out. Alright, so we're going to get into the flight footage here. We're going to start off with the 2 inch 1S version that I had built. These are on the 1002 motors. Um, and you'll notice right away that there is a, a large amount of battery sag. And these aren't, these aren't old batteries, to be honest. They're fairly new. We got the GMB27 connector on here. So, you know, we have, we have a lower resistance. Um, and, you know, PH 2.0. I don't think you're going to get anything better out of. BT 2.0 or the new A30. I think this is kind of what you get. I think it comes down to, you know, this is a pretty big prop spinning on pretty beefy-ish motors for 1S. And, I, and to be honest, I don't think these 1002s are really handling this prop as well as maybe an 1102 could. But then we're going to even cut more flight time down. So, you know, this is clearly capable. You're clearly capable of doing everything you want to do with this setup, I just prefer 2S, so I'm a little bit go. biased. Keep that in mind. I got just quick, quickly torturing uh, my girlfriend here before she leaves. Yeah, I don't know why she doesn't like me flying drones. I don't get it. I really don't. You know, they don't hurt anybody. I never do anything um, annoying or anything with them. So, yeah, just weird. Um, yeah, so... It, what I'm saying is, I, I'm, I'm biased. Let's just put that out there. I oh prefer 2S on 2-inch. After flying it, there's just an insane amount of power. It's everything that I want. And I don't think this is even bad. 1S um, on 2-inch, on that is. You know, more, still more than capable. I'm just looking for a little bit something more. But you may not be, and that is completely okay. And I think this will still give you what you're looking for <laughs> if this is what you're looking for. If it were me making a 1S version of this frame... I would probably stop at 45 millimeters. Um, you know, there is something to be said, and I haven't tried this before, um, but the tw the 1102s might handle these 2-inch props a little bit better on 1S, so something maybe to try. Um, but, yeah, I will be building another one of these, and I'm going to build it on 45 millimeter props, 1S. I think that's going to be the sweet spot. I really do. And I'm going to put these 1002s back on, and it's going to be, I think. We'll see. But, you know, it still can get after it with this thing. I was... I'm, I was really surprised with this platform. Man. It's just a lot of fun, but just once I got the two-inch itch, which is what you're going to see now. Um, ignore the fact that this says 85 millimeter. This was because, um, or that's there because this was the FC that I was using on my Mob 8, the X12. This is the same platform, the two-inch baby tooth, just with, uh, just on 2S and 1103, 11,000 kV motors. And you know, you can, you should be able to immediately tell. A difference in the flight performance that shouldn't surprise you you know we get an extra s and we got extra beefy motors and man is it is it fast 
No, I, I absolutely, I was flying a 450 here, and, and keep in mind that um, the starting voltage was not full. So this flight time you're going to see here is not indicative. You get over three minutes easily, um, and I'm kind of flying a little more aggressively. So, you know, the flight time is, is, is beyond acceptable because it's such an ultra-light uh, platform. Damn, just a, just a lot of fun. I want to do a lot of things with this platform in, in the weeks to come. Uh, just, yeah, just a little powerhouse. It's a screamer. And you know you can even, you can even put digital systems on this platform, no problem. You know you have enough space in between the and the standoff or the top plate and the bottom plate. Um, walk snail HD zero, well, not DJI obviously, but ooh, look at this thing, man! Oh, it was so much fun. But yeah, you can you can make HD zero, um, two inch HD zero, forty five millimeter walk snail, forty five, anything you want. That's what's great about these frames. You can throw whatever you got lying around in it and have a have a sweet little micro ripper man i'm really excited about this platform truly gonna build a lot more of these once my wallet can um can keep up with my aspirations yeah excuse my just all over the place flying here i'm just having a good time you know i was really having a good time with this, with this platform and um this was on i tried this 2S version on a 450, a 530, and a 300. And in a second, I have a 300, an example of a 300 um, 2S flight. And, you know, if you had seen earlier on the B roll, you have some pretty significant weight savings. And you can feel it. This thing is even more flat out with, with the lighter battery. The tune is a little bit on edge. I just bumped the house there. No one saw that. Um, it's a little bit on edge. So it, you you would probably need to even adjust it for having such a light battery, um, but man, it was it was crazy fast and it got pretty good flight times. You're gonna see that here in a second. So yeah, no flight audio for this one. I apologize, and this is only a portion of this flight, but I really wanted to showcase it. You probably won't notice much of a difference uh, watching watching the flight as I did feeling it when I was flying, but just absolutely crazy punch for a, a 2s two inch micro i can't stress that enough i know i said that about five times by now but yeah just it's it's a great great flight experience and you know i'm all about micros because they're they're fairly quiet and they're safe and this is no exception although it's fast and you know if you if you whack yourself in the side of the head with it at top speed it's not going to feel good but it's still not dangerous you know th these types of drones aren't dangerous and this is still quiet and and that's why i like flying these around the neighborhood flying them really wherever i want to fly them be because they're just so safe and and n not bothersome you know that's what i love about these micros but all right hopefully i gave you a little bit of a flight example here i'm going to move back to the desk stay tuned all right, so here we are back at the desk. You'll notice I keep my desk messy, um, and that is definitely on purpose to give off the uh, perception that I am, am more knowledgeable and more experienced than I am. Clearly, that's why I'm doing it. Not lazy at all. Um, all right, so we're going to be taking a closer look at this particular configuration, which is the 2-inch 2S configuration. I am showing you this one because it is my personal favorite and also because I have a little bit of a shortcut if you're looking to build one of these and you didn't want to have to piecemeal the parts together. I'll get I'll go over that in a, in a couple of minutes here. But yeah, there are a lot of different configuration options available for this frame, the Baby Turtle. They have a 40 millimeter prop size, a 45 millimeter prop size, and a two inch prop size. And you know, on those prop sizes, you can technically use one to two S on each. I think obviously if, I'm, if I was running the 40 millimeter, I would, I would use one S. 45 probably can go either way, one or two S. And 2-inch, I believe, performs best on 2S. But that's my opinion. You can definitely do a 40-millimeter 2S, and you can do a 2-inch 1S. It can, you completely can do that. Uh, I'm just sharing you with you what I think is the best configurations. I just want to touch on briefly the 1S version I built with this frame, and it was the, the 1002s, um, 20,000 kV motors on the 2-inch prop. You'll notice that I had low throttle oscillations, and I am not the best tuner, but I did try to tune them out, and I couldn't really seem to shake them, and that was either because of two things. One, 
I had a bad motor. I checked the RPMs in it, and one was performing a bit worse than the other. So it could have been a, a, a motor issue. Or two, the 1002s maybe are pushing their limits with the 2-inch prop. I mean, I have it on a bi-blade. I don't think it would perform well on a tri-blade. Um, so that could be something to take into consideration. If you're going to run it on 1S and you're going to be and you're going to be running 2-inch props, your motor choice, I might not recommend the 1002s. Maybe try uh, an 1102. I did not try that, unfortunately. Can't give you that information. But I can say that 1102s will definitely handle that larger prop size a little bit better than the 1002s. I think we're pushing the 1002s if we do that. Another thing I wanted to mention about all configurations, and then I'm going to get into specifically this build. So if you do have questions about the 1S or other builds, um, please leave them in a comment below. I, I'll do my best to answer them. Also, you can reach out to Sub250G FPV. I know he has an Instagram he's very active on, and I'm sure he'll answer your questions a lot better than I could. Um, so also feel free to do that. I'm sure he doesn't mind answering those questions. But for this 2S version here, I have a little bit of a cheat. And I not only do I think this is good for people who do not want to or like to build, but I'm running this currently in this configuration, and I think it is it is uh, perfect. It's it's great. I mean, it, it's just super powerful. Um, I'll go over the components, and you may already know based on the components. But you see these Happy Model 1103 11,000 kV motors. That's an X12 board with ELRS uh, integrated. It's SBI ELRS. Got the True RC antenna on there, of course. The Ant camera. Now all these components, except the antenna and the props. These are the two-inch gem fan props. Um, are stock on a happy model mobula 8 elrs so what that means and what i did and what you can do is you buy a mobula mobula 8 you know awesome drone in and of itself it's a 2s uh, 85 millimeter whoop you get everything that you see here beside the antenna and you can take all of those components and you can plop them on this frame and it flies insane and it, and it flies great on the stock tune as well it's as if it's as if it was designed it's a little bit i think over tune and you can definitely clean up the tune but for me i don't i don't like to mess with tunes unless it's flying away or flying horribly so i just i just left it and man it, it flies it flies really good this is just a really easy way to build it up and you get insane insanely powerful components in there i i've had no problems with the x12 but i've been absolutely loving this configuration all right, and that's all I really got for you. Um, I know this video dragged on for a bit, so I apologize if it was a little bit long. Um, anyone who stuck around for this long, I, I really appreciate it. Whether you're a first-time viewer or a return viewer to the channel, I sincerely appreciate it. Um, if you are here and you have any recommendations for me about my videos, about what you want to see more of, do I talk too much, do I not, do I not talk enough, do you want to see more build content, would you rather see more flying, please let me know because I do want to, I want to tailor my videos to what you all want to see. Um, I enjoy making them. I really do. I enjoy helping people out and I enjoy flying. So it's just a win, 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 win. Um, definitely check this frame out. Sub 250 G FPV. He is partnered with CNC drones. They sell all of his frame designs as well as the 40 millimeter, 45 millimeter, two inch versions. He also has a three inch frame, a three and a half inch frame, a four inch frame, a, a four and a half inch frame. Who knows? Go check them out. They're, they're really good quality. I like sub 250g um can't write i'm not not sponsored not anything like that i don't these are my opinions i just make i just tend to like a lot of the, the drones that i fly and the reviews that i do are on products that i like so if you notice that i'm always talking good about the the products the drones the builds that i fly it's because i chose to do a video on something that i like um i'm not going to sell out just yet um but hey thanks for watching i appreciate it it's been mo and i'll see you on the next one bye